everybody. So today I wanted to show you my SOG Trident that I found at the local thrift store. And actually technically it's not mine anymore, I gave it away, but it's on, on loan. But uh, before I do, uh, if you get a chance, go check out Tom at Knife Delights. Uh, awesome channel, great guy. Um, after the video, of course. And then give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my stuff. Okay, so let's get to it. So, like I said, I found out at a thrift store, so I got a great deal on it. And it was fairly nice condition. They just had a little bit of white crud on it right down here, and I cleaned it off. And I'll show you the patent number real quick. It feels nice and grippy. I like that a lot. Um, so a safety lock on the side that kind of goes on lock fairly, fairly easily when you stick it in your pocket. So it's you got to get in the habit of making sure it's it's, it's on red. But um, like I said, very grippy knife. It has jipping all over it. Like in your hand, it's it's fair. It's pretty solid. It's gonna it's gonna stay there. But you got this nice clip point. Um, flat grind some partial serrations I believe it's Aus 8 I'm not entirely sure I'm getting I got different information and I think this is the one that was made in China but again I, I keep getting different uh, information and as far as I can tell it's a glass reinforced nylon handle material but that texture makes it feel real nice. It doesn't feel too plasticky. You have the reversible clip, deep pocket carry. That's one thing I like about SOGS, is how deep it goes. And from watching people's videos, it's a great work knife. Let me get the, the lock bar on the side. A little bit of blade wobble, not much. And from as far as I can tell, the ones that are still being sold, these run about 50 to 60 bucks. Sometimes more. I've seen some go for 80 to 100. But great, and great knife. I think this would be a perfect work knife. Um, get the strap cutter. And no, uh, no glass breaker. So that's kind of a plus in some books and minus in others. Usually I, I find the seatbelt cutters kind of cheesy, but I like that this is actually the actual blade. So if you look here, you don't see that. Let me see. Let's see how it cuts. So just a little bit try the blade first. And this hasn't been sharpened, so this is pretty sharp. Like I said, it was very lightly used. And then the serrations Tear up through. Well, they tear up the cardboard pretty good, but I imagine you can go through a lot of stuff pretty easily with that one. So, just a great knife. And I guess another reason to go to thrift stores more often. Um, and the reason why I gave it away because I have a, I found a better one along with this. I'll have to show that one off later. But, anyways, that's it. Thanks for checking me out. Um, like and subscribe. Check out Tom at Knife Delights. And y'all have a good day.